running strong for four years. Um, and, and it's all about you know connecting, sharing, and, and helping each other move forward with our next steps in real estate and around real estate. Um, I just met Gerald for the first time tonight, and one of the first things he says is like, what am I going to learn tonight? And I said, I don't know, what is your question? <laughs> Because oh, honestly, I don't know what Melanie is going to be talking about. I don't know what Daniel is going to be talking about. I don't even know what I'm going to be talking about. So. <laughs> <laughs> and this is pretty much how it goes every night. Uh, every every month we meet. Uh, we, we just meet um, and, and we learn from each other. Um, there, is, there is a lot of experience in this room. Uh, there is a lot of people that are just beginning, somewhere in the middle have a lot of experience and until we show up with questions that we can implement, find the answers tonight and implement tomorrow, you know, this meeting is gonna be a little bit entertaining and then you're off to the next club meeting, off to reading the next book and just going that cycle of, you know, going from a meeting to a meeting, reading a book and we've all, all been there until, you know, one day you wake up and you say like, I don't wanna do this anymore, like enough learning Enough, mm -hmm. you know, reading newspapers, enough, you know, listening to other people's stories. I want to do something myself. But anyway, so we met with Lindsay, and then one day we're having coffee, and I says, I have an idea for a book. And she goes, wow, I write books. And I said, okay, let's do it. And, and that was pretty much it. Like, we had no idea why and what, and, and then she helped me kind of figure out what I wanted to do. I also had some ideas that I shared with her. And this is the result. She just sent the manuscript to the printing house a few hours ago. Uh, we've had this on pre-sale mode on Amazon, and it's already number one on Amazon. Oh, Can you awesome. believe it? So, <laughs> and she's, she's awesome. So if you have a book in you, you want to talk to Lindsay because she's the best. Um, so like I said, uh, the book is coming out. Um, February 29th, and um, so these are not my stories, you know, these are stories from people that are from the club, clients, friends, people that have met in real estate, and that book is about their stories and, you know, how they began and what they're doing right now, you know, some of the challenges and some of the fears that they had to overcome, and, and still overcoming, because we all are every day. And, and how is real estate changing their life? So that's what this book is all about. Um, and it's fantastic. It's very good. <laughs> um, I came up with this a few months ago, and I really like it because I truly believe that it's not location, location, location when it comes to real estate, but I think it's like location, location, waterfront, yeah. transportation. Um, and I think that if you get two out of four right in GTA, I think this is, this is specifically for GTA, for Toronto area, I think if you get two of those right, you're gonna do well in the real estate market, no matter what you buy, no matter when you buy, over a long period of time. Mm -hmm. So just, just keep in mind, like I always put it up there because I think it's important to you know, have the right mindset and also to have the right strategy going into real estate. So transportation obviously is very important. If you guys know what's happening on the Eglinton line with the LRT from Scarborough all the way to the airport and maybe connecting to Mississauga, um, and how billions and billions and billions of dollars are going in construction behind the billions of dollars that the province and the federal government is spending on the LRT. and and. You know, every corner, Butterson, Eglinton, Yankton, Eglinton, every little corner will have a, a station and the cold buildings are just going up like mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, 10, 15 years from now, the city, you will not recognize the city. Mm -hmm. Speaking of not recognizing yeah. the city, I'll show you a couple of pictures. You know, real estate has been around for a very long time. So this is how real estate looked in 1360. This is in Austria. I took this picture not too long ago. It's a house, six stories, roof, chimney, 
windows, floors, that's pretty much it. That's what real estate is all about. And it's built in 1360. And um, it's also the house where Mozart was born. Um, still there today. So this is how Toronto looked in 1998. How many people are born in Toronto? Okay. Oh, no, no, my hand has to go. You probably, you probably guessed by my accent that I wasn't born in Toronto. Keep your hands, hands up, please. Born in Toronto. So look around. One, two, three, four. And the rest, we just came here. Because it's a pretty great place to live. And this is why real estate prices keep on going up. And this is why, you know, real estate is... We will, we are going to do really well in real estate, no matter, you know, what the newspapers are saying today, mm -hmm. to sell newspapers. So this is Toronto in 1998. I was already in Toronto in 1998, so I remember that. No, I don't remember that, but I chose my picture. And this is what Toronto looked in 2012. <clears throat> Just to give you a little bit of a visual, 1998. 2012 and we have so many more condo towers today and and you know what we have today we're probably building double that right now and we're gonna triple and quadruple within the next few years so to me but I want to use this opportunity not to ask you to buy from me I want to use this opportunity to, to kind of walk you through um, an ROI return on investment that uh, the builder provided me just basically to illustrate how people can make money in, in real estate. So I have this, I, I believe I put the spreadsheet on each chair, so you should have a, a copy of it. Uh, so we'll just really quickly go through the numbers. I want to make sure that you understand the numbers. So the next time you come across something like this, you know how to properly read it, and you know how to make education, educated questions to whoever is talking about real estate, because you know these numbers, Different people are calculating it differently, and you need to know what to what to pay attention to. So here we go. Uh, the first column will give you a 17% return on investment, and the second one will give you 15.5. So we're gonna kind of go through each line and figure out like what that means. Total. Yes. The, the, um, go back a minute. The three, yep. Oh, looks like the cash flow, 375 per square foot. Is that the going rate in downtown Toronto? Yes. So uh, it's going as far as how, how far, how far would you say? GTA? Uh, the where the port? Port? People are actually paying yes. 22 for you. Hard to believe. <laughs> Hard to believe. I can rent a five bedroom home for that. No <laughs> doubt. No doubt. Okay. I mean, you're going to be a rich man with that kind of money in your pocket somewhere in the world. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but, right, but, but um, you know, one thing that, you know, people from my generation, I get, we're still trying to understand and comprehend is exactly this. Who would pay $2,000 a rent for a small box? I get this question all the time. And you know what? It's younger people. They're educated. They make great money downtown Toronto. They don't have cars. They don't have families. Yeah. They don't have driver's licenses. Mm -hmm. so when, 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 when you were growing up, I'll pick you as, as, as an example. When you were growing up, how many of your classmates got their driver's licenses the moment you got 16? We months. lied and got it in a couple months. Yeah. <laughs> well, give me a percentage. Well, everyone. Oh, yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Do you know how many people get driver's licenses today when they get 16? Less than 60%. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, you know, my, my, my daughter is my daughter is 18. Half of her friends don't have a driver's license. They have no plan of getting a driver's license. You know, but a quick story. We have a friend, um, Canadian, who lives in Hong Kong. He's been in Hong Kong for about five years. So we met with him for, um, for, for, for breakfast uh, during um, around Christmas. He was back. And, and he lives in a small place in, in Hong Kong that he says he thinks that the value of that small place is between three to five million dollars. Wow. He pays $2,500 a month and it's less than 400 square feet. 
2,500 US oh, a God. month for that place. And, 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 and he's talking to you know, Chinese people from Hong Kong about Toronto, and one of the objections that they have is real estate prices in Toronto are suspiciously cheap. Why are they so cheap? Convince me that Toronto is a good market because all we see is like it's very cheap. So we're sitting here and we're thinking like, oh, it's so expensive, I can't buy. Hong Kong buyers are saying like, I don't want to buy because it kind of looks cheap to me. But do they have the same kind of quality inside? Like, oh, I've never been to Hong Kong. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, well, I, I can know. say yeah, I'm she, from Hong she, Kong. She's so from Hong Kong. Yes, it's real. Like the prices here are about a quarter of what we're paying in Hong Kong. Right. So when we come over, it's like, what's going on? It's yeah, like, why, why is it so cheap? But yeah, it doesn't make if sense. If you were to look at some statistics, we've been studying some of it, and the immigration is 300,000 a year coming to Toronto per year on 10 years. And they're only building 30,000 units. So it's a 10 times, uh, you can move around 10 times. Right? So it's never going to be 10 years, right? All right, so going back to his question, what is my next step, what is my next question? Um, ask questions, we're all friends here. Um, you know, we're all gathered here to share information and, um, you know. Are you the sole person for this project or are there other real estate involved? Other there will be, like there down the line, line, down the line, yes. Get, how much are you, are you blocked off for? For the building? Yeah. I have access to the entire building. Yeah, the whole building. Good for you. What do you know? What do you know? Who wants to know? I know. I know. I know. Let's put it this way. I've been doing this for 20 years, so I know people. Um, we'll talk. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, we will. We may have to do dinner. Yeah. So, um, the main part of the evening. Um we have Melody here. Look, come on, come on, um, Melody, come on. Hey Melody. You haven't said a word and people are already applauding you. There we go. Okay, good night everybody. Good night everybody. Okay. Um, Melanie is a very, very good friend of mine. She's also a real estate investor. Um, she has experience in real estate. She's a insurance broker. So let me, let, I, I'm, try, I'm gonna try not to mess this thing up. Um, she's an insurance broker and she's come up with um, an interesting strategy um, that could work for real estate investors and people in real estate from what she does for a living and how that relates to real estate.